So on step three is when you create your ad and instead of creating a new ad, we're going to browse existing content and this will take you here to where you can search by name or by URL. So you search for the person whose content you would like to turn into an ad. So I'm gonna search for my own name here, Sam Day, and you can see my profile come up and my recent posts come up as well. And let's say that this is the post that I want to send adverts to, then I can request approval. And then once that request has been approved by myself or by whatever influencer you are working with, then you can start running ads and use that post as your ad creative and drive engagement and awareness back to your business page. Hey entrepreneurs, Sam Day here from Day Tips. And in this video, I'm speaking about LinkedIn's new thought leader ads and how this can change the game when it comes to influencer marketing, but also retargeting ads when it comes to LinkedIn ads. So first and foremost, I'm gonna start off with retargeting ads. So I, for example, have an audience of over 15,000 people on LinkedIn organically from posting and work that I do, I've managed to build that following. But on my personal page, I can't actually retarget the people who are following me with ads. So for those of you who might be unaware of why this is important, so on social media, you can only reach a certain percentage of your followers just because of how the algorithm is. Even if you have 10,000 people following you, the algorithm is only gonna suggest your content to a certain percentage of those people. Obviously, as brands, as entrepreneurs, as businesses, we might be selling a product or selling a service and we might want a particular post to reach more of our organic audience so that more people can buy. So when you retarget people who are following you, then you increase the percentage of people who see a particular ad. And obviously that has kind of been impossible up until LinkedIn have added this new feature. So with LinkedIn, you can retarget people who are following you, but only people who are following your business page on LinkedIn. So for example, I up until recently haven't had a business page on LinkedIn. I've only had my personal profile. And so I was not able to retarget people who were following me. But with this new LinkedIn thought leader ads, I can now create a business page and I can select a piece of content that I have created on my personal page and I can actually run ads to that particular post and drive traffic back to my business page. So another thing you can use this new feature for is influencer marketing. So let's say for example, there is an influencer on LinkedIn that has the attention of your target audience. What you can do is obviously you can work with them organically. Maybe you pay them to put out a post for you on LinkedIn, but also that post is only gonna be seen by a certain percentage of their audience. It doesn't matter how big of an influencer they are. Similar to what I said before, you know, the algorithm is going to suggest that content to a particular percentage of their audience. And not only that, usually if it's a sponsored post, it doesn't do as well as their organic content. So you can create a LinkedIn thought leader ad and you can send them a request inside your LinkedIn ads manager. And that will, request will allow you to have permission to send and drive adverts to that particular post. Now, when you do this, that advert will be seen by more of their audience, but also audiences who are similar to their audience as well. So not only are you reaching people who are following them, but you can also reach people who are similar to them as well. So this helps both of you in a sense, because you can drive awareness to your business page and you can also increase awareness for them as an influencer as well. So here's how you set this up. So once you're inside of LinkedIn ads, and if you've never been inside LinkedIn ads before, don't worry about it. I'm gonna be creating a video soon on how the LinkedIn ads platform works. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you're not already, so you don't miss when that video goes live. But essentially, inside of the ads manager on LinkedIn, once you have selected your business page, you then want to go to where it says create and create a campaign. Now, it will ask you for a campaign objective similar to other social media platforms when you're creating your ads. Now, usually, I would suggest for you to go for a lead generation campaign and a website conversion campaign because what LinkedIn will do 
is they will use AI to see who is actually registering to your website as a lead or buying the products or services on your website and they will send you more customers and more leads rather than just driving you more awareness and more clicks to your website. At the moment, the thought leader ad is restricted. So you can't actually run conversion ads to a thought leader ad. You can only run brand awareness or engagement ads. Now this might change and hopefully it does change later run down the line to make your ads even more effective. But obviously if you wanna reach more of your followers or more of your influencers followers, then you can drive that brand awareness back to your page, get some engagement, get some more followers to your business page, and then you can retarget those people once they are following you on your personal page. So I'm going to click engagement here just as an example. And then you set up your campaign as usual. You fill out all of the information. The only step that is different will be step three. So once you've filled out your ad and you have you know, selected your ad format and so on and so forth, you get down to step three where it says set up your advert. So on step three is when you create your ad and instead of creating a new ad, we're going to browse existing content and this will take you here to where you can search by name or by URL. So you search for the person whose content you would like to turn into an ad. So I'm gonna search for my own name here, Sam Day, and you can see my profile come up and my recent posts come up as well. And let's say that this is the post that I want to send adverts to, then I can request approval. And then once that request has been approved by myself or by whatever influencer you are working with, then you can start running ads and use that post as your ad creative and drive engagement and awareness back to your business page. Now obviously there's pros and cons to using this, mainly because it's a new feature. There's certain things that you can't do like conversion ads. So you might be driving a lot of engagement to your ads, but you want to make sure you assess how well that engagement is turning into actual leads for your business. So that's something you definitely want to keep in mind. If you're working with influencers who are really targeted and who really have the attention of your target audience, then you will find that your ads will probably perform a lot better and you can hopefully convert more of that engagement back to your business page into tangible conversions and you know sales for your business. So it's definitely something to try, particularly if you're already doing LinkedIn influencer marketing to kind of push that influencer marketing out more and to reach more people. And if you already have an audience on LinkedIn that is relevant to your business, then you might want to use it as a way to get your content out to more people and to hopefully increase engagement to your businesses uh, page on LinkedIn as well. So I do actually have more information on how you can run effective advertisements for your business and I highly recommend that you read the formula before you decide to do any paid ads because obviously paid ads can be expensive, particularly if you don't know what you're doing. So I highly recommend downloading the formula, it's completely free before you spend money on LinkedIn or Facebook or Google or any other ad platform that you are on. And obviously if you want to do organic campaigns as well, so drive traffic to your products or services for free using SEO or social media or video marketing, I also have information on how you can not only drive traffic to your website, Site, but convert that traffic into tangible leads and sales for your business. So make sure you go and download the formula completely free from my website. But I really do hope that this video brought you value and helped you out. And if it did, do me a favor, please click that like button down below. It does wonders for these videos and it allows me to continue creating content because these videos are suggested to more people. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. But make sure you go and make some sales. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.